Hi, my name's Glenn Rui. Nicole Torrentis. Matt. Rachel. Ben Parker. Brendan. Virginia. My name's Elise and I love Kayama. Um, I was born in Kalama Hospital, December 28th, 1983. True fact, look it up on my family tree. It's gonna rhyme a little more. If you uh, like what you see, come over later and uh, we can fool around under the Christmas tree. I love Kayama because it's so coastal, it's got all the beaches, everyone's so friendly. I work part-time at the Laconia Coffee Lounge in Kayama. I go to Kayama High School. I coach Taz per week twice, and if my coach is away, every day. It's all I've really known, and um, it's everything I could ever hope of. Beautiful people, um, beautiful place, awesome ocean and beaches, um, nice sense of community. I call Kaima home because of all the um, relationships I've built in Kaima, um, because I've been to school there all my life and I know so many people and I've had so many memories in the, in the town. That's where I've grown up, it's all I know. Um, it's a it's place with where you're from and who you are and it's a part of me. So. Well when you go on a road trip and you're out and you're like going to all these other towns you just don't feel like secure and then as soon as you step back into Kaima it's just this relief off your shoulders, it's like we're home, you know. I love it's uh, freedom, a lot of freedom, a lot of young people, just um, you can be yourself, do what you do and, um, and everyone's pretty laid back, everyone enjoys music, everyone, everyone enjoys having a good time, party on, everyone enjoys checking out the block rockers on a Saturday night, that's what I do, block rockers baby, shout out. Thanks man. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda needs young people because it helps the society grow. Need young people to liven the place up a little bit. Need young people to put on rock concerts in the in the park and get complaints from all the old people. What would be without that spice in Kaima? That's what people see Kaima as. It's somewhere to retire. And if there's no young people, it would be like the life of Kaima would be gone. With Kaima being such an aging population, I think we're running out of time to um, to build what we have, to build our own nest egg within the youth of Kaima. Kaima, most people are sitting around doing nothing, getting into the wrong things because there isn't anything to do. So to the new council, um, start putting together some events so we can, you know, do things instead of doing nothing at all. You've got to understand that the people up at the high school are not only trained guitarists or, or singers, there's, there's um, jazz musicians, there's classical musicians and they could all be displayed in somewhere like the Main Street. We could have a big festival of climate youth playing music within the Main Street. Maybe something to do um, in the evenings when, when everything's closed and so people aren't like hanging around in the streets. Maybe um, maybe like a little, I don't know, maybe a little community movie theatre or something like that. Um, it'd be great to have a few concerts there. It'd be great to have um, a few more events getting organised um, through council there, like events that would unite in the town a little bit more. So um, yeah, so let's just keep, keep finding the youth centre and, and all youth events like that sort of thing, keep lighting the place up a little bit. Probably the main, the main opportunities that are missing in Kaima is steady employment for, um, for skilled people. Um, there's only a certain amount of sort of tertiary um, jobs available around here. Um, so yeah, it's just hard to stay because it's hard to keep a job. And I, I feel that Kaima has um, often had the resources to, to build stable careers and lives and um, um, proper housing markets and, and whatnot. And it's a shame that we have to say goodbye every year to such a, a big chunk of our community. It's good for people who already have a house here, but people trying to buy into the area makes it kind of hard. And if you're, if you're going up around here, first home buyers and, and that sort of thing, it's really hard to get a place in Kalama. Um, so you kind of have to yeah, buy the surrounding suburbs. I guess it's kind of, um, it's not many um, more estates getting put in as well. There's no sort of um, more housing estates getting put in, um, which kind of is, is limiting housing a little bit. Council, serve your community, um, do whatever is best for your community and look for the future more than just the next couple of years. Um, 
you need a long term goal and you need to stick to it. I like where I am.